Hello guys and welcome back. In this module and in this first lesson of this module, I'm going to work with how you can use wildcards. So but what basically wildcards are? So wildcards are just shortcuts that you can use in finding text and you have if you have a long document which consists of hundreds of pages and you can't find a particular word where you need to make some changes or edit or format that particular place so you can use vile cards to find that text or wherever you want to edit or format your document so vile cards are just shortcuts or abbreviations you can use to ease your time so let's first of all get to know what vile cards are for word 2016 so let's jump over to this file that I've opened up in my browser. This is a PDF file in which it describes what are what are wildcards and also tells you what wildcard characters are in, that can be used in Word 2016. So it's just a two page PDF file. I will attach this file with this lecture so you can download it and also view it on your own self. So let's see what wildcards are pre which are present in word 2016 so the first wildcard character is a simple question mark and which says locates any single character for example l question mark w so the wildcard we use is l question mark w which means that if i need to find a word that i don't know but i know the first and last of uh, letter of that word so I can use a question mark between the first and last letter of that word for example I have a word such as IOT so I can use I question mark T find that text and it will automatically highlight IOT for me so this is a very useful wildcard character on word 2016 and wildcards are also present in previous versions of word this is word 2013 and it has the same wildcards as of Microsoft 2016 so the second wildcard character is an asterisk sign so an asterisk means that it finds the whole word for me for example if I need to find John in my document or internet in my document I need to write the first and last letter just like question mark and then I need to click find next and it will find all the words that fall in this category so it's also a very important wildcard character that is very useful for us in word 2016 and when we have a document which consists of hundreds of pages and we need to find the specific place where we need to edit or format things so similarly we have many wildcard characters we have a greater than sign less than sign square brackets square brackets and minus n exclamation and minus n you can read these and they are very easy to be understand so i hope you get to know what wildcards are because they are very easy now let's implement wildcards on our word document so let's open up the word, do word document over here this is a very short word document however wildcards are used in lengthy word documents to find places where you need to edit or format anything but I'm going to show you how to use wildcards in this two paragraphs of text so on this home tab on your ribbon we're going to work with home right now you can see that I have an option called or named find on the right side of your ribbon you need to click the arrow over here and you have three options the first one is find the second one is advanced find and the third one is go to so I'm gonna go I'm gonna click advanced find over here and I got this dialog box which says find and replace so let's move this dialog box a little bit up here so we can see the text over here and then let's find a word internet 
and click find next so you can see that it is highlighted over here automatically that the first internet word is right over here the second is over here and if I find next I'll find the third and third line fourth is right over here and six is right over here and so on and now what if I need to use wildcards but before using wildcards you need to click more over here and you get a couple of options over here so to use wildcards you have to make sure that you have selected or checked this checkbox right over here which says use wildcards because otherwise your wildcards won't work and you keep on getting and you keep on getting error while using wildcard so make sure you've checked this box before you use any wildcard to find text now once you've done this click less and let's use a wildcard now let's use the question mark one so I need to find IOT in this word document let's say so I write I question mark and C and then I can click find next and then I can also click highlight all over here which will highlight all of the words which have I and T at the end and a letter in the middle of them so highlight all and you can see that IOT wherever it is it is now highlighted so this is the question mark wildcard and now use the asterisk wildcard so to use the asterisk wildcard it's very simple let's use I asterisk T and if I highlight all you notice that it highlights wherever the word is starting with I and ending with T so this is a very useful thing called wildcards that you can use to find text in a document that consists of hundreds of pages and it, it is very easy to use so I hope you liked this lesson I hope you learned a lot from it and I hope that you take advantage by using wildcards to find text in your word document so keep practicing Feel free to ask any questions in the discussions tab so I can answer them and let's move to our next lesson.